Hello, folks call me Shug. I thought I might do a little video on side sleeping in a hammock. That's right, side sleeping. That means sleeping on your side in a hammock. What a thought. People do it. I don't. Other people do. So here's a video about a guy who does not do something that's going to show people that do do something <laughs> kind of how to do it. I never go fully fetal because I'm afraid to go fully fetal. But I might turn to the side just a little while for a little reprieve, and it usually ends up being that 5, 6 in the morning time. But I found that side sleeping in a hammock is kind of a broad subject. There's a lot of range to it. A lot of different opinions. Um, what works for one guy or gal is not going to work for that other gal or guy. And um, I can say right off the top that you're just going to have to get hammocks and try. It comes down a lot, it seems, to the fabric of the hammock. So a single layer hammock often seems to have a little bit more give. Because just think about it, when you have a double layer, it means two pieces of fabric together so you can slip a pad between or, you know, people use it for various reasons, for bugs that don't bite them if they live down in warmer weather and they don't want to use an under quilt or a pad. Um, some people like it for a little more support. So your fabric comes into it. The preference for some is a fairly firm fabric. A lot of people like that soft, silky, stretchy slumber. It, it seems to me that it's, it's do your knees press against your underquilt. I've got the Jacks are better. Greylock, this is my Greylock 4. They also make a Greylock 3, which is like a 20 degree. It's a wide, partial underquilt. By partial, I mean it only goes down, like here's my foot down here. Uh, do you face the back of your hammock or outside your hammock? A lot of people like the bridge hammocks for their side sleeping. Other people don't because your knees kind of go against the edge of that um, fabric that usually has a, oh, it has either so, something like mule tape or something go through it and it's very firm. You know, the length of your hammock sometimes might come into it. The width of your hammock. Most of my hammocks are about 60 inches wide, 58 inches wide. Some people tend to like the um, wide hammocks. A lot of companies like Dream Hammock, Dutch Wear, gear uh, will offer a wider hammock you know more fabric that might help a side sleeper just with that thought i'm thinking well you um side sleepers have a little bit more to deal with to get your comfort in so i'll feel for you i'll feel for you while us mummy guys we just lay here oh and don't even get me started on the stomach sleepers no why you're gonna have to just try one and see what works for you I wish I could give you a definite answer. I can't. But at least I could just show you a couple of my hammocks and me laying sideways in them. Boy, that sounds like a fun video and an exciting video to watch. Because who doesn't like watching a 60-year-old man laying around in a sack of cloth? So now I'm laying here in just your basic, this is a Dutch wear gear, simple hammock, 1.6 hexon. 60 inches wide. It's a softer fabric. Feels nice and comfortable. I'm laying here sideways. Once again, my feet are just inside this partial underquilt, so I got a lot of a lot of warmth on those feet right now. Now, the Warbonnet XLC, this is a double layer hammock. I have on the zero degree Wookiee under quilt. Now, keep in mind that I lay with my head to the right, feet to the left, so this under quilt is set up for that. This is a firm hammock because it's a double layer. Feels nice laying here in the fetal position. This is comfortable to me and your face is right out there. My feet are on the uh, under quilt because they're sort of tucked back that way. So this is the way I'd side sleep in here. Now I've slipped on my hammock gear incubator. Feet are covered real nice. Got a lot of fabric up that way. Covered well there. Feel like 
them covered pretty well on each side. So what we're not proving here, or maybe we're just taking a look at is, each hammock is going to be different, each fabric is going to be different, each underquilt is going to be different. Not bad. Now the normal thing is if you use a partial underquilt, is to use something, I use my Thermarest sit pad in the foot box of my top quilt. But let me get sideways here. And my feet are like right here, curled up. Because my feet are pushed right into it. And that's in a pretty deep uh, fetaloid. I don't know if you side sleep or sleep like that, but if I had them out a little bit, I can feel where I go off that underquilt. Feet cool right now, feet warm right there. So here's my war bonnet, Ridge Runner, bridge style hammock. For this test, I have on my 20 degree hammock gear incubator. Now I've got a nice comfortable lay here. Uh, the fabric always feels a little more firm in this, but let me go ahead and roll them aside. And I'm going to go to my left side. Now one of the complaints I hear about this is a bridge hammock has a real stiff edge in it because it's got a, a webbing material that runs through this cat cut edge, but I'm, I'm able to kind of avoid it. I feel my buttocks touching it back here, so I want to make sure my under quilt is up on that side. And my knees are right over here. I don't know how fetal people get. If I were to sleep this fetally, uh, is fetally a word? Fetally, teetally, teetally. That would feel like uh, my knees are on that edge, but if I just relax them down a little bit, feels a lot better. I don't know where I'd put my arms if I did that. I think I'd probably just probably be a crossed arm guy right there. Now I've got the REI flash pad, and I'm going to slip that between the, the 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 two layers of this hammock so that the pad is underneath this layer and lay in that. So I do have this pad lightly inflated and it's easy enough on this hammock to come to the end. You have a nice big pocket there. Start sliding that pad in. Oh, that's pretty nice and comfortable right there. I do like the pad in here. I can feel the warmth of that pad. Of course, I know I'm going to have my top quilt or sleeping bag warming me on the side here. Keep in mind that every camping pad has an R value, meaning what its insulation level is. So if you want to have warmer insulation if you're using a pad, check your R value and make sure you're getting a pad that's going to get you to the temperature you want to get to. Here I've got the... Uh, this is my X-Bed X -bed 9 right here. This is a highly insulated pad, and that, that pad is good to about 30 below zero, and the price, well, it reflects that. I'm gonna slip that X-Bed in there real quick. I underinflated a lot for this hammock. And the reason is it's a shallow hammock anyway. It's got a shallow lay. Um, so when you put a pad in a hammock like this, it really raises you up. Yeah, that's pretty comfortable with this X-Bed 9. I'm just not comfortable laying on that side because of my shoulder. Can't lay there too long. But if I go to this side, and it's a bit of a wider pad, so I can feel it kind of coming up behind my uh, buttocks right there. But if I had that top quilt or sleeping bag on there, that of course would take care of that. Don't get gaps or you'll get cold here. And that pad seems to raise my knees up off this sharp edge on the bridge hammock. Feels pretty good. Now one of the best, most comfortable side sleepers is the Amok Dramore. Either the 3.0 or this one, the XL. It's a hammock that's dependent on a pad and you can just see how wide open it is and you got a lot of room to be on your side.
So now let's just roll on the side. Arms, buttocks, knees are on the pad, even in a deep fetal. Pretty wide open in here. So that is just another option. It's an entirely different hammock, but it is a great stomach and side sleeper. What do you think? Should we look at a few more? I think we should. So let's do. Now, a little side sleeping in the Dutchware Chameleon. I can breathe! And now the Dream Hammock Raven. The Wilderness Logic Snipe Hammock, 11 feet by 60 inches wide. Warbonnet El Dorado, which is like the XLC exactly, except it does not have a shelf. Everything else is the same. I'm not sure there's much left to say or do on this video. So get that hammock, lay on your side, try it out for a night, see how you feel, put in a pad or an underquilt or none at all. Who am I to tell you what to do? I'm just a guy that hammocks just like you. Let's come together. Side sleepers, back sleepers, stomach sleepers, tent campers, the whole world. Let's be good to people out there, be good to somebody today, and they'll be good to you. All secure in Sector 7, woo buddy, it is Shug, and we are out of here, baby. Was that fun for you? <laughs>